What's up, everybody? This is the Classic Tycoon here, and we're back for episode 7 of our Million Dollar Mission Season 2. In the last one, we put in the haunted house here and um, car ride there and, and put in some decorations and whatnot. And I want to do a few things today. And the first is I'm going to raise the prices of our roller coasters um, by a, you know, a fairly significant margin. I think we need to start charging more for these things, especially when they're new. Um, I don't know how much guests are going to be happy paying $10 for Black Hole. It doesn't look like they're getting too upset right now. But that ride's going to be getting fairly old, you know, you know, faster than you think, right? The game goes by pretty quick. We'll do the same thing with these newer roller coasters here. I won't go quite to ten dollars for these guys but I'll raise them again pretty significantly and they'll make quite a bit more money I just wanted to check and make sure you know guests aren't complaining and that they'll still walk into the ride and it looks like they will so that'll be just fine so we'll do that for all of our roller coasters and all of our new roller coasters going forward I'll charge more than what I typically would because we just don't have the space right we don't have the space to that we did in the original million dollar mission where I could charge pretty much whatever I wanted because I was going to have 50 roller coasters in the park. So um, we're going to have a lot less than that in this one. But like we did in the last one, we're going to try to build some smaller roller coasters in this park. Even though the first roller coaster we built was pretty big for the, the wooden roller coaster. but. You know, once in a while you gotta build one of those fun ones. Anyways, um, that is the plan going forward. Let's get some marketing campaigns going to get some guests in here. Um, and then we'll do some <coughs> some other things today as well. Just kind of checking things out here. Everything's. Looking good. This park is very compact, isn't it? Um, let's look at what we've got researched. I, we don't have any research going for, or I mean, there's no research available for thrill rides anymore, which is surprising to me. I, it's been a long time since I've played through, you know, Forest Frontiers this far, but I didn't know that the only thrill rides you got was the Twist and the Pirate Ship. That's pretty disappointing. Those are like the two worst thrill rides in the game. They're, basically more gentle rides right but that just means we'll have to supplement what we would do with our uh the thrill thrill rides with roller coasters and have to build more roller coasters so we won't be making money off of those thrill rides we normally get all right i think i want to throw in a wooden wild mouse today and we'll put it in right here uh next to the two looping roller coasters i think that is you know the nice thing about the wooden Wild mouse is how compact they are and how much you, you know you can fit into a small space. So we will be doing that right now. Let me speed things up here. Go double speed for the building, and then we'll watch the the test in real time speed. All right. So now I wanted to talk to you guys um, about the channel and what's going to be happening here. Um, pretty much starting immediately, and that is that my wife is quitting her job so that she can focus on her schoolwork. She tried to cut back to part time so that she'd have more time for schoolwork, but it still it just wasn't quite enough time for her to feel like she was getting um, an adequate amount of studying in and that she felt, you know, comfortable with doing enough homework and just being able to do well on her tests and still have time. You know, she runs marathons and stuff like that. She needs time to train. And and so she is quitting her job. And what that means for me and for the channel is that I will be uploading probably significantly less. Um, I mean, I don't want this to sound like I'm never going to be uploading. But, I mean, we'll see what happens. I'm just going to have to find time because when she's home, I 
do not record really and it's it's just because you know when she's home she's my priority she I'm going to be spending time with her and then um between you know she's when she is at school I'm at work so um I don't have time to record then either while she's at school really so I might be having to record at like you know late hours and even then it's hard to you know be able to speak as we watch this wild mouse test here it's hard to be able to speak right at a regular volume um, like this so either you know maybe I quiet my voice a little bit but she got <laughs> I don't know, you guys probably already think I have a quiet voice since my voice is so deep. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, we're just, I'm, I'll figure it out, you know. I'll figure out some sort of schedule to keep uploading because I love doing it. And, um, yeah, that's what's going to be happening. So, uh, just expect a little less uploading. Um, this wooden wild mouse, that's a pretty decent excitement rating that we got right there. We'll try to bump that up a little bit, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to charge $10 for it, and um, I'm going to need a name for this one from you guys, so go ahead and give me some names in the comments below. And we'll get this thing open as fast as we can. And start making some bank off of it. Throw in some trees around it, see if we can get that excitement rating up a little bit. Get up above a 7. And that did it. Up above a 7 right there. Alright, so now we got to start thinking about doing some other things. And mainly that being got to make room for other roller coasters um we got to start buying some land and i was a little worried about it we don't have a ton of money yet but we should have enough to actually expand a fairly decent amount so i think i mean we can probably fit another roller coaster in right over here you know between the looping roller coasters and the wooden roller coasters and we'll probably do that in the next episode but i want to get some land knocked out here today so let's uh let's look at our options i know we already looked at them in another episode but i already forgot so let's let's open up our uh our park entrance and then check out what's available for sale so here is you can't really expand out that direction over here there's a ton We'll probably buy this land out right here eventually, but I'm going to leave that alone for now. It's not really much we can fit right there. I'm going to start expanding out this way. And um, you're going to see it takes, takes quite a bit of time to buy this land, but I'll just speed it up. And it's going to seem like it takes no time at all here. But if you watch the money up top, you can see how quickly it goes down when I'm building, when I'm buying all this land. But, you know, since those roller coasters are so expensive now, it doesn't hurt the bank too much. I mean, we're going to lose, like, probably like $5,000. You know, it, it costs a lot more than 5000 But, um... That's how much it's going to seem like we lost since we've got those expensive roller coasters going. Maybe a little bit more like 7000 but there we go. That's all filled in. And another nice thing about this is that there's a lot more trees over here. And so we won't have to worry so much about building trees around help boost excitement ratings because they'll already be there all right so I mean this last little bit I kind of just hang out and look around the park um, and while I do that why don't I just um, tell you guys I, I am still planning on 
doing some more subscriber showcases, so don't worry about that. I've got your roller coasters, okay, if you've been um, anxious for that video to come out. I'm just taking my time on that one and uh, seeing if I get any more submissions for that. So remember, if, if, um, if you want to submit roller coasters to me, you just email them to me. And the address for that is Darren1733. That's D E R O N, Darren1733 at gmail.com. My name is not Darren, by the way. Um, that's just the email I set up for this specific Classic Tycoon account. So that is the Gmail. So send me roller coasters, guys. Um, and I think that'll be it for today. So yeah, send me some also, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. Give me some uh, um, submissions for the new roller coaster name over here, the Wooden Wild Mouse. And yeah, let me know what you think about this episode. Um, let, also, let me know what you'd like to see as far as roller coasters being built in the next one. Again, thanks so much for liking as o or for watching as always. Give me a like if you would, and subscribe if you haven't already to see more content. I'll see you guys in the next video.